Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying our 12 days of Christmas promotion. Today is day 5 which is our mixed pack of variety toppers and cardstock. Now I've got mine, we're going to open it and have a look what we can make. So I've got my toppers and I've got my um, cardstock too. So I'm going to have a look at both of them and see if we've got any colours that will work together and um, things that we can use to make a card. So let's have a quick look. We've got some oranges, some greens, some blues in here. Okay. Oh, we've got some decollage as well. Love that. I think there's some concept cards in there too. Um, and then in here, oh, we've got some beautiful patterns in here. Um, a mix of foils and plain cardstock. What are we going to do? Let's have a look. I think I'm going to choose. Let's go with this topper. So it's got a little bit of blue and a little bit of green in. Um, so let's pop this to one side. And then let's find some cardstock that will work with this. I think maybe this dark green. We can kind of make that work. And then we need like a light blue. Have we got that? This one will work. And although we've kind of got some like snowflakey detail on here, I think if we use the middle section of this panel, we can make it work and out. I think we'll go with a big eight by eight on this one too. So if I get my cardstock, so we'll start off with our large dark gray. And what I'm gonna do is we'll just trim this down so it is slightly smaller than eight by eight. And then we can lay this on top of some uh, mirror. I've got an eight by eight mirror mat here. So we'll pop that just on there like so. And then let's do a little bit of uh, another mat that we can stick on here. So I think what I'll do is if I take it from this section, now we've got an eight by eight. So if I do this at seven and a half and trim that down, and I'll just bring these in because I kind of want to see how it looks before we pop this down. So if I stick that on there, we've got a nice sort of darker green edge and then we'll have this section here and we can fill this area with loads of toppers. So let's just trim this down. I think what I'll do is I'll mark out so I know that I've got an equal section of the green. And then I know if I trim this down just here with my pencil markings, that, that is gonna fit on there quite nicely. So we can stick that bit together and then we can layer up all of our toppers. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape to do that. And then I think with this one, we're going to actually use some foam pads just to lift it off and give it some dimension. So just peel your foam pads back and we'll stick them across our piece of cardstock here. So let's stick this all onto our base. So that is our mirror mat that we've got here. And we'll make sure that this is nice and even. We should have a nice sort of three quarters around the whole edge and then we'll stick this piece just coming over the side with that nice gold and um, silver strip sorry down the edge we'll stick that in place so it's just on that green edge there and then let's bring in some of our toppers so there's so many different shapes and sizes that we can use here I think I definitely want to use um, this big topper I'm not sure about the uh, borders and frames yet because I do want to fill it in with quite a lot of these different shapes so let's pop that one there and then we've got some really nice sentiments we've got just 
for you on your special day heartfelt thanks and uh, we've got just for you border and then this one says thank you for so much for being there it means the world to know that you care um so let's pop that one out because that's quite a nice verse as well i think we can really maybe add this um long border strip in that says just for you so i'll trim that out and we can maybe pop that about three quarters of the way up we can pop that just across here like so and we can maybe put a little um, banner edge on that there and then we've got a little bit of space over here so i think what i'll do is we'll use the heartfelt thanks sentiment again and then do we want to have a bit of a border Let's take the largest border out of here because this has got a lot more of that darker sort of bluey green colour which is really going to work with the colours that we've got from our cardstock here. And if I pop this under here again and then slide this on top to create like another little frame. And then we'll add this underneath maybe maybe we lift this a bit further up so it's not all the way on there pop that on here and then I think some gemstones and maybe a little bit of ribbon so let's start building that up again I'm going to use on this some of our smallest foam pad strips so I'll just place them um, around three quarters of the way across I think because we know that it's going to hang off our card and then once we've got it in place we can trim it off so let's just pop them on there we'll pop this up across here and then if I flip this over I can trim that off and I'm going to trim it to the green cardstock so to that outer edge so just trim it in line with that so it'll just hang over ever so slightly we'll bring our topper in and we're going to pop that across so if i just use this as a guide now because i know that this is going to stick here then i can add a little bit of foam pad strip underneath there which is going to keep our topper at a nice height and then we can use some of the if we pop the little strip on the bottom we can use some of our rectangular foam pads just underneath so let's pop that on here we've got this really nice um, verse that we're going to stick just over the top and I think I'll put that on foam pads as well so if I just lay my foam pads onto here then we know that they're going to be hidden so I'll just trim off that little pip pop that on top that gives you even more sort of dimension there on your card we've got our just for you strip which will stick on here I'm just going to trim this bottom piece into a little V here. We'll stick this on with a bit of construction glue and then when we know it's in place, what I can do is I can just trim that down off there. And then if I just mark it. So some construction glue to stick this on and while we're waiting for our glue to come down I think I'm going to go with some glitter gemstones because we have in our blue selection some really nice sort of turquoise colours which I think is going to help to bring out um, the green that we've used in the background as well because it is a little bit darker than the green that we have in the rest of the collection. There we go.
So I'll pop this across the bottom here. So just using that wiggle room you've got with your glue to make sure that that's nice and straight. Bring that down. Then we've got our heartfelt thanks sentiment, which I'm gonna lay over here. So again, use your rectangle, foam pads, and we'll pop that across the side like so. And then just some gemstones. I'm gonna go with that dark color um, and I think we'll go for, so let's use three of the largest ones underneath our sentiment here. Make sure that they're nice and even. And then we can use maybe these lighter green ones. And I'm just gonna put three up the side. And then all that's left to do is to stick this onto our card blank. So we can just flip it over. We've already got our tape on the back. So we'll peel away all of those backings. and then stick this straight onto our eight by eight. Pop that on. Making sure it's straight. And then there you go. A card using our variety toppers and our variety card stock, which is on offer today, um, on the fifth day of our 12 days of Christmas.